ieri. I can't really hear you properly, I think it's that long of your microphone. Can you hear me better now? Yeah. There we go. Sorry, this is too far away. Oh, that's really, I thought, I thought you'd gone somewhere. <laughs> that's like, it's awfully quiet. Fucking hell. And it sounded like it was underwater a bit. I realise now you were you were talking to Rose the whole time, and I could kind of hear it in the background. I assumed you'd gone into another room, but I'm now realising that I think you were right there. But I just I couldn't I couldn't hear it. it was really weird. So if you had said anything to me, I apologise because I was not aware. <laughs> Rose said, Rose said, uh, Rose said denied. Oh, right. She said that and there's nothing come back, and I was like, oh, maybe you've come to, like, get a or something. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, it's weird. Yeah, no, it just, it sounded like your microphone was underwater. I thought you were in another room. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, wait, is it? And then I heard some villager noises. I was like, it's actually just gone a bit weird. Just loading up the last of the villagers into the trading hall, got three more to go. <laughs> Just loading up some villagers. What the fuck, man? I started the bait today and it's already run out. Oh, they're one of the disposable ones. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, if, uh... Yeah, I can wait one of those last a few days, but I'm kind of constantly all over the place. I suppose if you're just sitting there, you know, just, you, you can you just... No, it's not home. even that though. Like, I, I, don't, I don't use it that much. It's just the particular ones I've bought that have like, run out super quick. I think they might have reduced the amount of stuff they put in them recently without telling anyone. Because they're, they're, they're banning them, aren't they? Alright. Oh, they're making them illegal. Oh really? What? Just vapes in general? Disposable vapes. Alright. They're making disposable vapes illegal and they're making it illegal for anyone under a certain age to ever smoke. Yeah, no, I've seen that and I just think that one's ridiculous. That is fucking ridiculous, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, yeah, like, we shouldn't encourage people to smoke, but I mean, I've got some strong opinions about that one. <laughs> on BBC News fucking preaching it just oh yeah it's gonna be great and she looked like the most miserable cunt ever seen in your entire life <laughs> <laughs> she just had like I don't know she had just the face of like I, I, I think I took a picture of it I was like, I it. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
cigarettes and then the other half of the people that can't imagine like an 81 year old buying an 80 year old cigarette because what? the 80 year old isn't allowed that's that's what's going to happen it's just, just going to yeah. be like loads of youths on the street corners going oh can you buy us some cigarettes mate and it's going to be like going back to the fucking mid 2000s where you know when you just fucking turned 18 and every time you walk past the shop some chav's like oh mate can you get us some? it's like fuck off <laughs> it's gonna be everywhere, and then there'll be a fucking illegal tobacco trade because loads of people will get tobacco and then sell it to people on the streets, and then it's, it, they're just creating a really weird criminal like I don't know, it's weird. I can't I like, the, the amount of problems it will cause. You just be like, yeah, I know, a few more people can get cancer. And now there's going to be loads of people getting arrested over. I mean, are they going to arrest people for. Like, how, is it, how are they going to enforce that shit? <laughs> At some point, a 20 year old is going to be arresting a 40 year old for buying cigarettes illegally. <laughs> I just can't, that's not. That's not bless you. Sorry, excuse me, one second. Hey, you. Scott McGill on Facebook. <laughs> What's that? From Scott McGill. Yeah, yeah. 
And I talked to him. I talked to him quite a lot these days. We're good friends on Facebook now. <laughs> <laughs> I bumped into him on a fucking train once on the way back from London, and then that's kind of what kicked it all off. It was weird. When, when I went to study to be a trainer, it was really weird. I was like getting a train back, and I was going to go to the toilet, but the train was incredibly busy, so I like walked from one end to the other. And then found the toilet, and there was about six people waiting outside to use the toilet, looking really uncomfortable. And I was like, "Fuck, this is busy." And there was like all the seats were full up, and it was absolutely packed. And then I just looked down. I sort of stood there, like rested against the fucking pole, and then I looked down. And Scott McGill was literally sitting right underneath me. <laughs> and I was like, "Fucking hell!" <laughs> I couldn't believe it, it was it was a surreal moment. I kind of joked about him for like years. And then there he was right in front of me. I was like, fucking hell. It's like, uh, there's all these people on the train. I was just thinking, like, do I tell him how much of a meme he is in my life? I was like, no, I'm just going to have a normal conversation. <laughs> there were a lot of people. We're both really excited to see each other, and it's weird, usually I'm quite nervous in public when there's a lot of people cramped into a tight space and I don't know any of them, but we just both had this ridiculously loud and overexcited conversation for like 20 minutes, and everyone around us just looked so fucked up, and they were all in silence. <laughs> You're just talking about like guitar nerd shit. Yeah, like... And then I added him on Facebook there, and then I said, oh, I've got some songs, and he was like, oh yeah, send them over. <laughs> yeah. So then I sent him the songs, and then since then he's been my friend on Facebook. And I'm friends with his fucking wife. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the inner circle now, man. Yeah. It's weird, you can talk to, you, you can genuinely talk to some of these people if you try hard enough. Like, there's this bass player called Jeff Berlin who played with Alan Holdsworth and was in Van Halen at one point in the 80s. He's, like, way up there. And I've added him on Facebook and we talk quite a lot now. <laughs> like, these people actually respond, it's really odd. Awesome. Is that the last librarian? I think that's the last librarian. Nice. <clears throat> the final library. Final library. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna have a break. I'm gonna have a beer and more ready for it. Oh my god, fucking hell. <laughs> Just got exploded by a creeper. It got me down to half a half. That was tense. That was so 
dangerous because I can stand at night. <laughs> Raining the entire time in the plane. Like I've been having rain constantly. I mean, I'm in a different biome. It's just uh, over here. It's just raining. <laughs> They do, get some, they do get heavy rainfall, but then there's some absolutely beautiful beautiful weather that you can go with.
Defenseless, so it, was like, it was, happened before it even loaded in. Well, I saw I saw all of the cats, so that's all right. <clears throat> oh, mate, I don't I, I don't have a clue where I was. That's so annoying. I was going for quite a while and I don't even remember where the hell I was. Did you go? 